Today we are talking about the authors of these world famous books. So it is time to expand your knowledge. Stay with us. Who is the author of the series Sherlock Holmes? The answer is Arthur Conan Doyle. On May 22, 1859, Arthur Conan Doyle was born to an affluent, strict Irish Catholic family in Edinburgh, Scotland. Although Doyle's family was well respected in the art world, his father, Charles, who was a lifelong alcoholic, had few accomplishments to speak of. Doyle's mother, Mary, was a lively and well-educated woman who loved to read. She particularly delighted in telling her young son outlandish stories. In 1890, Arthur Conan Doyle's novel, A Study in Scarlet introduced the character of Detective Sherlock Holmes. Doyle would go on to write 60 stories about Sherlock Holmes. He also strove to spread his spiritualism faith through a series of books that were written from 1918 to 1926. Doyle died of a heart attack in Crowborough, England on July 7, 1930. Question number two. Which British author wrote the novel, Portrait of a Lady? The answer is the Henry James. Traveling often throughout his long and productive life. Henry James wrote fiction and travel literature about Americans in Europe and Europeans in America during the great epoch of transatlantic tourism and exchange in the second half of the 19th century. Born to a family of writers in New York City before the Civil War, he died in London during World War I. A distinguished citizen of Great Britain and a major novelist in the great tradition of European letters. Though he is best known as a master of the international theme in tales and novels such as The Ambassadors, The Portrait of a Lady, and Daisy Miller. James, like his friends and fellow novelists Edith Wharton, William Dean Howells, and Henry Adams, also wrote letters and sketches that enrich and expand the genre of travel literature while tracing a history of taste, culture, and the writer's art. Question number three. Who is the author of the book? War and Peace. The answer is Leo Tolstoy. On September 9, 1828, writer Leo Tolstoy was born at his family's estate, Yasnaya Polyana, in the Tula province of Russia. He was the youngest of four boys. In the 1860s, Russian author Leo Tolstoy wrote his first great novel, War and Peace. In 1873, Tolstoy set to work on the second of his best-known novels, Anna Karenina. He continued to write fiction throughout the 1880s and 1890s. One of his most successful later works was The Death of Ivan Illich. Question number four. Who is the famous author who wrote the autobiography My Life? The answer is Bill Clinton. William Jefferson Bill Clinton was the 42nd President of the United States. He served from 1993 to 2001. My Life is a 2004 autobiography written by former U.S. President Bill Clinton. It was released on June 22, 2004, around three years after Clinton left office. The book was published by the Knopf Publishing Group and became a bestseller, the book sold in excess of 2.3 million copies. Clinton received a $15 million advance for the book, which at the time was the highest such fee ever paid by a publisher. Question number 5. Who wrote the book, Burke and Days? The answer is Hesiod. Hesiod was one of the most influential of the Greek poets, but to be frank, we know extremely little about Hesiod. He seems to have been active around 700 BCE, so was still living in a world where the Greek written language was not widespread. 
This would make Hesiod a rough contemporary of Homer, the other foundational figure in Greek poetry and mythology. Hesiod lived in Boeotia, a region in southern Greece where Thebes is located. It was said that his father came from Aeolus but sailed west to Greece. It seems pretty evident that Hesiod and his family were pastoralists, and in fact Hesiod described himself as a shepherd. It was through this occupation that Hesiod would become one of Western civilization's first great poets. Question number six. Who wrote the famous book My Battle? The answer is Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was born on April 20, 1889, in Braunau-Min, a small Austrian town near the Austro-German frontier. After his father, Alois, retired as a state customs official, young Adolf spent most of his childhood in Linz, the capital of Upper Austria. Adolf Hitler, the leader of Germany's Nazi party, was one of the most powerful and notorious dictators of the 20th century. Hitler's virulent antisemitism and obsessive pursuit of Aryan supremacy fueled the murder of some six million Jews, along with other victims of the Holocaust. After the tide of war turned against him, Hitler committed suicide in a Berlin bunker in April 1945. Question number seven. Who wrote the famous book, The Apple Cart? The answer is George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw was born July 26, 1856, in Dublin, Ireland. In 1876 he moved to London, where he wrote regularly but struggled financially. In 1895, he became a theatre critic for the Saturday Review and began writing plays of his own. His play Pygmalion was later made into a film twice, and the screenplay he wrote for the first version of it won an Oscar. During his lifetime, he wrote more than 60 plays and won many other awards, among them the Nobel Prize. Question number 8. Who is the Nobel Prize winning author, The Old Man and the Sea? The answer is Ernest Miller Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway served in World War I and worked in journalism before publishing his story collection in our time. He was renowned for novels like The Sun Also Rises, A Farewell to Arms, For Whom the Bell Tolls, and The Old Man and the Sea, which won the Pulitzer Prize in 1953. In 1954, Hemingway won the Nobel Prize. He committed suicide on July 2, 1961, in Ketchum, Idaho. Question number 9. Which work of universal literature contains information about the battles of the Greek against the city of Troy? The answer is Homer's Iliad. The Iliad is an epic poem by the ancient Greek poet Homer, which recounts some of the significant events of the final weeks of the Trojan War and the Greek siege of the city of Troy. Written in the mid-8th century BCE, the Iliad is usually considered to be the earliest work in the whole Western literary tradition, and one of the best-known and loved stories of all time. Through its portrayal of the Trojan War, the stirring scenes of bloody battle, the wrath of Achilles, and the constant interventions of the gods, it explores themes of glory, wrath, homecoming, and fate. Question number 10. Who wrote the Greek tragedy Antigone? The answer is Sophocles. Sophocles was an ancient Greek playwright, born in Colonus near Athens, Greece in 496 BCE. Sophocles was highly educated. He is one of three Greek tragedians whose plays have lived on. The Suda, which is an ancient 10th century encyclopedia, from which we know that Sophocles wrote 123 plays out of which we have seven complete plays. These are Ajax, Antigone, the women of Trachis, Oedipus the king, Electra, Philoctetes, and Oedipus at Colonus. He took part in competitions and even won over the two popular playwrights Aeschylus and Euripides. Question number 11. 